Hi everyone, it's Stephanie. It's Emily. And today we're doing something very different. We are coming back with our book haul of BookCon, um, as well as our own personal haul for our like mailbox haul uh, for this past month. So yeah, let's get started. Saturday. Oh, I'm yeah, guessing last, you didn't yeah. go for the Sunday. She had a like a media yeah, pass. Yeah, no, I was. Yeah, I got. Ended up getting a media pass, and I was thinking about going, but my body hurt that day. <laughs> so yeah. So that was overall our journey in BookCon. Yeah. Um, definitely um, go check out our video. Yeah, let's get started. So we went to line. I went to line up. Well, we went to line up our wow. cards. I got a calendar. That was my swag. So it's really pretty though. Like some of the images are really pretty. I went on the same line and um, I managed to get a hold of this book. It's called Rose Gold. Rose uh, Blood. Oh Rose my god. Blood. Oh, sorry. I covered my hands with that one. Sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Rose Blood. And it is a Phantom of the Opera inspired retelling. So then we also got in line with, I think this is kind of a random book that I got called The Hearts We Sold. I believe it's kind of like a, it looks like it's a um, sci-fi paranormal romance horror novel which I think will be very interesting it's by Emily Lloyd Jones um, I think this was given out by um, I'm not sure who the publis publisher is Little Brown this was the one that I got uh, in the same line and it's called Devils and Thieves and there were other two selections and I don't really remember my reason for why I didn't select well this, I think one of them was just like a YA like fiction yeah yeah I didn't think maybe that was something that I was like I already have one of those mm -hmm. like I'm not really interested in getting another one right and this one was one of the ones that stood out to me because it's about biker games mm -hmm. and I was like I don't really read that many urban fantasies filled with magic and motorcycles right yeah so I was like okay so this is going to be pretty interesting and hopefully it is moving on next book I got was unraveling by Sarah Ellen mm -hmm. uh, Sarah Ella it's very interesting I think it's about um, like true love as well as like magic mm -hmm. um, so I think that's kind of like up my alley like I like paranormal magical things with like romance involved so yep I got this one yeah and I think in the same line I got this one yeah, I think so too. I think yeah. it's one or the other, and then we just picked both. Yeah, we were just like, <laughs> I think that was one of those lines where like yeah. there was two books available, and you only really grab one. Mm -hmm. But since we were on the same team, we got decided to grab both one, of, them. one of each. Yeah. yeah, and I think this book is mostly another sci-fi book. It's really reminiscent, as they say, of Ender's Game. So I'm really mm -hmm. excited about this because I really liked Ender's Game, and yeah, it's just mostly about video name? gaming. The um, name? What? What's the book name? Oh, the book name. <laughs> so excited. I was like, oh, I don't remember that. Okay, so the book name itself is actually kind of hard to read. It's right here. No, it's The Evaporation of Sophie Snow. It's right, right in front of me. Okay. <laughs> basically, I was just like so obsessed with holding the book. I was just like, all right, I totally forgot to read the name. But yeah, basically, it's about like alien species. I think it has uh, video games in terms of t t developing and dealing with the problem as well as, you know, a power dynamic. So I'm really excited about The Evaporations of Sophie Snow. See, there, I got it. Yes. And then along with the same line that I got this book, I went to line up for one of the other picks and it was, I ended up getting this book, which is a memoir. Um, it was either this book or the other one. And I wasn't, sh I was actually going to pick the other one originally um, because I think it was more like fictional, but it ran out by the time I got there. So I ended up picking this one, which I was actually kind of happy about as well because I don't usually read memoirs. It's called Aging Disgracefully by Danny... Cahill? Cahill? So it's a guy. You don't yeah. find that many, many um, I guess, male memoirs that are usually generally... Um, I feel like this is very... Uh, yeah, like, it's um, kind of about... It's like a midlife crisis. Kind yeah, of thing. I, don't think that, I don't find those type of stories often. Or maybe yeah. it's just within my circle, so I'm kind of excited to read this. So this one I think would be very... I mean, they're both... I feel like the entire booth was giving out really interesting books for every single like hour. So I'm really excited for this one as well. Yeah, and I think along the same lines, maybe around the same, like similar time, like yeah. within the hour, uh, two hours or so, I also waited in line for this one. Stephanie wasn't there for that one because she was getting other books. Yeah. But it's it's generally um, a realistic fiction, mm -hmm. and it's sort of about, um, sorry, it's, it's kind of about his experience um, of being uh, in love. Like, it's basically about a guy who's, again, in love with a, uh, with a girl, but it's, it's a little bit about the fact that, like, he's not really involved uh, in her life, and there's something that happens. So it's like a sort of 
interesting take on the typical Hawaii mm -hmm. like story. I don't know too much about it as you can clearly tell, but the cover looks really nice. Did you say the name of the book? Um, you know. Yeah, I feel <laughs> like story. you're really bad. I'll say all next door. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. By uh, Jared uh, Reck. And uh, I'm always usually just so excited about holding the book. I totally yeah. forget. I'm and like, I didn't like, know that. He's talking about it, but I'm like, but what book are you holding? <laughs> yes. Anyways, so the next book that I got is called Remember, Remember. Oh, I'm excited about that. Um, by Anna Elliott. Mm -hmm. And this one is a... So this one was interesting because it's also along the same line of the same line. Um, because I got this book and I got Birthrights um, by J. Kyle Mc McNeil. So I got both books. This one was this was like the only time when they're like you can get both books. So this one is like a mystery kind of book. So if you're into like mysteries, I was like okay, perfect. Like Sherlock Holmes. This is like a Sherlock Holmes Sahara. mystery. So this will be very interesting. I think the cover. I'm not super fond of I don't know why I just feel like it's kind of like a dry cover oh it's but... probably one of those like market copy covers so like yeah it's just like a print thing. yeah so I'm yeah. just like not super en enthusiastic about this cover but this other book I picked was what, what it was actually one that I was actually going to pick until he told me to take both but this one was he said both. that this one is um if you like Game of Thrones and I was like oh my god I love Game of Thrones <laughs> <laughs> so this is the one I really I'm really interested in um Basically, like I said, about Game of Thrones, so it's about like, you know, the war, some sort of war, and like revenge, and like foes, and all that juicy stuff, so, yeah. Yeah, and I think along that same line, I was waiting um, in a separate line for No, this. we were waiting in the same line, we both were. Yeah, we oh, got one in the same okay, line for this sorry. one. So we, this one is one of the few copies that we have dupes, because yeah. we waited together, and then I think he also signed it. Yep, he signed it with both of our names. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Emily. <laughs> and uh, he was a really jolly guy, so I'm really excited to see what he can give us yeah. in terms of reading. So it's really good. In terms of the story, though, it's actually kind of interesting because it's like fantasy related and it's about reincarnation. reincarnation. Yeah. So you definitely had like, you looked, picked up this book and you were like, oh, I think I might like this. So I'm also like a member of First in Line. So this is one that one also where I got this tote from. Um, they came with this tote with this box, which I didn't know was in there, and a towel. So this box actually came with two books. Um, it came with like a, a new version of the Golden Compass, which I can't really see, but... Whenever this thing goes down, like the Golden Compass, so it's like a have like a remake version of it. I think it's just like a reissue. Yeah, reissue like new cover kind yeah. of book about it, which I Golden Compass I liked as a child, so I'm kind of like excited to get the copy of this. And thing. the most the reason why they were giving it out was because it's expected that his newest book, that is like the prequel to this series, is going oh, to really? come out sometime oh, this okay. year too. The excerpt's actually available online, but we uh, we basically got a chance to actually get this book copy for free because of anticipation for mm -hmm. that story. So yeah, so I got this book along, along with... Um, wait, you got this book too? Oh, we have two of this? Yeah, oh. we have two of these. Okay, we didn't even know, I didn't even know that. And actually, I didn't get a chance, but it looks interesting because it's like... And then south. I got this book in this box as wow, well. Wow, it's, it's also called... like a story about the South, I think. It's called mm -hmm. The Breathless by Tara Gojin. So I think I got this book... Well, I got this book it's here. Like I'm not sure where we got this one from. <laughs> Probably <laughs> <Mystery>. from me. <laughs> Probably mystery copy. Um, but then like they were doing a lot of other books th during the day. So because of that, we also got this book, which is called Nixia by Scott Rangen. The book that I am uh, covering is called Hunting the Deep by Adriana um, Mather. Mather, right. And then it's the first book, oh, well, no, it's not the first, it's the New York Times bestseller, okay. And it's basically about, <laughs> it's, it looks like it's about a sunk ship, and it's a little, it's kind of talking about it's kind of paranormal. It does definitely seems interesting enough for me to read. Uh, it's definitely a YA right now, but yeah, it's about a sunken ship, a girl, and how the sunken ship is doomed to actually haunt the girl's waking life just because of the fact that there's something that goes on in the story that ends up really affecting her safety. So we'll see how it goes. 
And I think the next one was, these are a few ones that I got on my own. So like uh, Feral is another one that I waited in line for. It's a bit about like the um, apocalyptic fiction, definitely, as you can tell from the cover. It's about like women who are kind of like on outpost uh, during a pandemic and see how they actually like deal with the situation. It's a lot of that like Walking Dead related sort of stuff. So if you like that, then you should, you probably would want to pick up this book soon. Mm -hmm. And then there is this few were like going on while I was waiting on the ultimate line. There was an ultimate line for Warcross. So I'm not showing you the book yet just because that's like our finale. But like um, while I was waiting for that book, um, I actually managed to pick up uh, In the Shadow of Alabama from um, Penguin. And uh, even though, yeah, I got it from the Penguin section, even though I feel like the book itself is from Kensington Books, so I'm a little confused. But uh, it's, maybe it's like affiliated? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but it's basically a story, it's definitely realistic fiction, it's, it's about farm life and um, how this girl uh, deals with her father's death and the sort of story that comes about her coming back to the mm -hmm. hometown. So it's a little bit more like Sweet Home Alabama with the uh, with maybe less of like a glamorous angle towards it. So yeah, since it's like about uh, Alabama. So the book that I last got while waiting in line um, for Warcross was this book called The Ready Made Thief by uh, Augustus Rose. And it's, it seems like a story that happens in Philadelphia, relatively realistic. But it seems like an action thriller, and the main character is definitely hustling against like black markets. Yeah, it seems pretty like action oriented, so I'm excited to kind of read this. And it was kind of it was kind of like um, um, a bonus book because I wasn't expecting to get it mm -hmm. while like you were hunting down other stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> and I was in line. I was like, oh, I'm never gonna get more books, but it happened to be that I got two extra books, so it was, that was fun. Yeah. So something I got in the beginning, actually, I was like kind of. Back when I was still wandering around, kind of like finding my way, because she yeah. was, I think she was in line for something. Yeah. And I was just like, I don't know what I was doing. So I was walking around and I found this author um, who was actually just like in the back area. I think in the front there was a lot of like the big publishers, but in the back there were a lot of like small publishers uh, or even like actual like self published authors who were there. And I met this guy who published um, a, a Phaedria? Yeah, something like that. Jim. Yeah. by Jim Greco. Greco so it was interesting because he's actually from Long Island so he was so it's, he's kind of like a local author basically mm. it looked very interesting because they like sci-fi and it's like a sci-fi fantasy kind of novel so I mean the book even is kind of like galaxy oriented so I thought hopefully this would be a good book as well and, and finally <laughs> I've been hiding it from you just because I had to wait like two hours for this but like, okay, it was not two hours it was like an hour and a half <laughs> We're the waiting for it. Okay, I just see her walking like <laughs> slowly in line as I was like, I'm going into the line. I'm going into the line. Agony. Um, so we're definitely going to add some commentary at the uh, near the end of this video about our experience at Bocon. Oh, yeah. We'll add, like more of the details and all, eventually, I guess, like how we came to a strategy about mm -hmm. how to get books. But yeah, how so the totes. The totes over here. Oh, okay, okay. Um, okay, so she wants it back. There we go. So about War Cross itself, uh, we got, I got a chance to meet Mary Lou. Uh, the copy itself is actually signed to Stephanie because I was I'm a nice person and Stephanie wanted this book. <laughs> and uh, I was like, are you gonna keep it? You're gonna keep it? Can I have a sign for me? Yeah. Thank you. So War Cross is her I think third venture into writing for a younger audience. It's mm -hmm. definitely really exciting because. Um, we actually got, also got like a video yeah, an excerpt. excerpt. So it's de it's about again a video game sort of premise. Uh, it seems like there's a lot more going on in this book that is a little, uh, I guess, atypical of her usual genre because usually she writes like high fantasy or high science fiction, and this one is a little bit more like The Circle by uh, Dave Eggers or um, yeah, it's happening in modern day. It's definitely taking advantage of like whatever is going on in, in like California in terms of. Silicon Valley, the technology that's going there, and it basically explores this young, uh, I think a whole group of young people who go into this video game and try to like sort of engage with it. It seems mm -hmm. like that sort of story, it definitely sounds like Ready Player One 2, but not in an apocalyptic situation. So it's like, that's at least the feel I'm getting. The cover is beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, Mary Lou was very much dressed up in this like, oh, yeah. really cutesy outfit. Like mm -hmm. she was really, really nice about it. 
and yeah so in general like I basically hogged this as my prize possession before I gave it to her because I was like oh my god the line is so long it's yeah. so long yeah. Um, but yeah I thought overall though like the experience of getting all these books was really enriching in general because um, while waiting for Warcross I happened uh, as well because you had a book club friend there mm -hmm. too, Andrea, as well yeah. Andrea and she's also in the video we had her permission <laughs> but um, she and I got a chance to really talk to the people in front of us and these people had like four years of experience ever since mm -hmm. BookCon started of gathering books and they basically taught us a lot of how like how to get like we like, did a pretty good job yeah like, we you did a like better first. job They're yeah so and also along with all the books that we got we also got some cool swag oh, where yeah. we got this bookmark from uh our cards and then we also got from the bookish box earrings like feather earrings yeah that was another one of those wheels yeah. we had to uh, yeah spin. so this one was like people were saying it's a really good swag wheel but it wasn't like a, a, for like for our purpose for getting like novels i feel like it wasn't that good because there were actually no novels you can get um, but like we got some cool earrings which I really like so that was pretty cool and then we got a cool tote from Owl Card. Actually, the most interesting one is back here, which is the actual owl. I was showing the <laughs> that, that, that the um, the earrings were from Owl Card. No, it's not. It was from Bookish Box. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So then there's also these. And then we, we also got like a mag. What is this? I don't know what this is. Maybe like a magnet of some sort. Yeah. Um, and then a lot of pins. Like look at how many pins I got. Here. Yeah. Pins, pins galore, so many pins. Oh, I don't know what this is. <laughs> and, um, then and then I also got this, which she was very jealous of. It's like an accessory pouch. She was like, I need to get that too. Well, it's mostly because I've been wanting a new makeup pouch for a while, and it was for free if I could have like waited for it. But then she was like, no, we have to get more books. <laughs> no, that was because we had to get lunch, and I was like, we are so hungry, and we want to be back by like 2 and 3 like, 1 o'clock, and we're like, uh, yeah, that's true. Alright, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also got a lot of like little excerpts. Mm -hmm. Um actually I think this is this is like an ex this is a two excerpt one actually because this side is this one and the other side is this one. So we got this actual book, so yay for us. And this one is an excerpt. So but yeah, that is overall our swag deal going on. I'm really excited for, I like the totes to be honest. They're quite mm -hmm. nice. This tote's really good because it has like a um a zipper so like this is something i'm very prized over um but yeah that's our book haul and then what what would you consider as like your favorite book so far yeah that you got it yeah that you're um, right, that, they, that you're most excited for i guess oh my god other than okay. war cost oh my god why <laughs> other, clearly we're both very excited for that book okay so <laughs> other than that book I'm really psyched about this one the one that i didn't even like talk about the cover because you could clearly tell that i was so enwrapped in actually holding it <laughs> um i really like sci-fi i've always liked books that are similar to ender's game um that are well written it's it's just one of those things that I really get like get me uh gets me so I, I'm just really excited about this particular book. Yeah, I think I'm, the most one I'm excited for is this one, The Hearts We Sold, just because it's like paranormal sci-fi horror. And like, I'm not a huge fan of horror, but I love sci-fi paranormal stuff. So it's like, yes. Um, and I like little brown books. So usually like, they're really good, like good choices for me. So after the whole book con, other than the book con stuff, we also finally got our two books. Um, that we actually got a mailbox for our YouTube channel um, by Jean, 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 Jean Gill, Jean Gill. Yeah, I'm really bad with names unless it's like phonetically pronounced, and like I know Jean. So far, I will give her credit though because there is no accent on it. Yeah. So if your name happens to be Jean, yeah, uh, Gill, um, just please accept our apologies. So we got these two books from her: Left Out, book one, and then Fortune Cookie. Cookie. Book two, and I think the series is looking for normal. So, yeah. so this is the first book, yeah, and this, this is, is the second, second book. And I think these books are very fucky looking. Like, look at the covers; they're very fun. Yeah, they look very, very like fun and entertaining and like light reads. Because like the fonts are also kind of like, I would say they're also a mix of you know like pin stuff or um, like quick like little quick uh, quirky drawings. So it's a very like interesting little book. So hopefully these two books we will get to read and touch soon. But yeah, thank you so much for sending these over for this YouTube channel. We'll definitely mm -hmm. look into these ASAP. Yep. But yeah, 
So that's it for our book con book haul with what our ridiculous this? amount. That's only half of it, by the way. <laughs> um, with our ridiculous amount of books that we obtained, as well as our first mailbox book haul, as well. Um, but yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video if you liked it. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Okay, thank you guys. Bye. Bye.